men, those of influence, those whose words alone could change the worlds as we Hello and welcome to I Win, the International Winners Information Network. I am Jennifer Salhi and I'm so excited to share this video with you today. Now, today you're going to discover, look at that, all right, the uh, Gold Rider Tarot Card Deck, all right, there you have it, and I believe there's um, nine, uh, 78, right, 78 cards in there, so it's brand new, let's take a look, we're going to open it up. See that? Okay. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're really excited. I've had these for um, several months. I mean, a long time. And uh, since today is a very, very special day, today I'm going to open these. I'm going to learn the names of each of the cards. So, let's get some scissors. All right, so here are the cards. And here's the book. So let's take a listen real quick to this video. Out to eclectictarot.com. Let me move out of the way. I use their site frequently as a reference point, as well as the Rider Waite booklet and tarotpedia.com. From these sources and others, I created my meanings for the 56 cards of the Minor Arcana. With this, you can get a really good handle on the cards within an hour or so. So for those of you who are more visual learners, prefer video and audio to books and websites, I made this for you. And I think you will find that my system and concepts make it really easy. So let's get started. First off. We divide the cards into two sets, the Major and Minor Arcana. The Major Arcana consists of 22 cards. In the Rider Waite Smith deck, one is the Magician, two is the High Priestess, three is the Empress, four is the Emperor, and so on. Why is this important? Because each of those cards relate to the cards of the Minor Arcana. So the Hierophant relates to the Fives, the Lovers to the Sixes. The chariots to the sevens, eight is strength, nine is the hermit, and ten is the wheel of fortune. So right there, when doing a tarot reading, you will already have two pieces of information to draw the uh, for any number of card that comes up. You'll the have lovers, two different ways of interpreting it based strength, upon the card itself, hermit. and also upon the card of the major arcana to which it relates. For this reason, we're going to cover the first ten cards of the Major Arcana and look at them in light of how they influence the interpretation of the Minor Arcana. I'm also going to discuss the significance of the numbers themselves. And that way, if you choose to use a deck in the future that doesn't have all the pictures drawn on them for the Minor Arcana, you'll still know what to do. And after I'm done with the Minor Arcana, that'll leave us with only twelve other Major Arcana cards remaining to learn. And I actually have a pretty cool system for those, too. I think that when we get into them, you'll be really surprised how they relate to each other. Right. Now, each card may... All right, so on each card, it can re represent four things. A person, an external concept, an internal concept, or an activity or action. So I'm going to go through all this information. This is the first time I've opened this deck. It's the first time I've I've touched these cards. My first time 
um, learning about this amazing knowledge. All right. So, um, it's going to be exciting. Anyway, so tune back in and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you find out a little bit more about the Golden Rider tarot cards and about getting yourself on the right track. Okay? Getting yourself on the right track. How's that? By planning your future. Okay? By planning your future and by manifesting what it is that you want. This is Jennifer Sully tuning out for now. Until the next video.